Okay then, it's time for episode uh, three, four. I think it's three of Technic, and here we go. Okay, when I left off, I was in next to a monolith in the plains, an unmarked one. Now, before I get too far, I want to head back to spawn. Oh, first I want to want to put, make a waypoint here. Okay. Now, I want to head back to the first one, which is somewhere over. There. There, because I can see the waypoint. Because I want there was a swamp around there, and I need a swamp because that is the most common place to find rubber tree. Rubber trees for industrial craft. Um, a thirty percent chance for a rubber tree to spawn in a swamp versus a 10% in a forest or a jungle area maybe and like a 5% in plains I think and then 0% chance you know and they won't ever spawn unless it's like you know bordering a biome whoa that's a lion I have a sword come at me ooh no don't come at me you can eat the mice. Go ahead, eat the mice. Run, running, running, running. Ooh, chickens. Anyways, unless there's a bit of a biome over, you know, one next to the other and it overlaps somewhat, that ain't. It's not exactly what I mean, but if you play enough, you'll un you'll understand when you get two biomes together and they kind of bleed over into each other. But even that is fairly rare, so pretty much you'll never find. Let's just say you'll never find rubber trees in desert or tundra slash taiga whatever. Okay. I do want to keep a couple here of the cows here, just so that I can eventually bring more, breed them, well, bring them back and breed and breed more. And if I'm smart about it, I'll remember to keep one piece of leather in a chest because, well, I'm not. Planning on using equivalent exchange, but it does make getting normal, you know, normally. Th I will use it if there's something that I need that is stopping progress. But in but in this case for leather, I will use the Thongcraft duplicator because it's not nearly over as overpowered. It's actually fairly balanced for what for item duplication. So it requires twice the energy that the, the item is worth in order to craft one. And I have a three wool for a bed. And I have flax, if any more, so. Let's collect more seeds all on the way to cactus. Hmm. I okay. I don't think I'll need cactus too much it's because the red power tubes are much better than buildcraft pipes. Uh, but you never know, so I'll, eh, I'll grab some.
more sugar cane. And no running, I should not run. I do not have the, the food supply to run. And ooh, cinder pearl pods. These cinder pearls are added by Red Power. As far as I know, they're not used for anything, although LRAM has stated she will add additional functions to it. Right now, their only use is you can craft them in a cra in your crafting grid, like, you know, you can do this and get one blaze powder, or I think you can stick them in a macerator and get three, I'm not sure. Mostly I grab them because they're ugly. And I don't want them in my nice in my nice ugly desert. I didn't think that through. There. Okay, nine cactus. I don't really need more. Is that that's not the volcano I saw at start. It is interesting though. Is that a double volcano or something? It's weird. There's a snake. No, it's just an oddly shaped volcano. Well, I think I'll be I'll most likely be using geothermal power for industrial craft. Uh, if only I was near a snowy area too. I... Oh, there's a there's a reason to use buildcraft pipes. I can use those. You can use buildcraft pipe pipes to pump water directly into a compressor to get snowballs. Okay, there's sugarcane. How many seeds do I have? Ten from that. How many did I have in my? How many did I dump in my chest? I don't know. Hey, more chickens. Okay. Okay, that was a weird noise. Um, here's the base. Here's the first obelisk. Puts my spawn that way, I think. There's a lot, a lot of things that way. Chickens. Oh, good. And birds. Whoa. Oh, I really don't like the snakes from Oak Creatures. However, I think, yes, you can cook them in a furnace for omelet. Lots of, unfortunately those birds, the Oak Creatures birds, do not drop the, the raw chicken. They do drop feathers, but I don't need them from the chickens I'm getting. There's more sheep. There's the ravine. Okay. Okay, I know where I am now. That's not the ravine, though. Maybe I don't know where I am. And it's getting to be nighttime. It's a nice big cave. Ah, the ravine's up there, and that's the swamp area. Okay. Take a moment and kill the cows for me. Whoa. 
Aww. Poor antelope deer thingy. Oh, did I really go into like a massive circle around that when it was right here? Okay. More sick. More sick. Did I lose a cow down the ravine? I hope not. Ah, now. Um. Technic does have. I think it's called Better Enchanting. But it is fairly bugged in that it will not drain. So if you go to this, press X, you get an enchanting menu. The problem with using it is it will not drain your experience and you can and you can select max so you can select max of everything and put it on whatever you want at no cost. I do not like that at all, so I will not be using it. Um if need be, like for instance fortune on a pick, which I really do want, I will grind my I will grind levels until it, I am high enough to get it, get enchant the pick, and then um, go and suicide myself to reduce my level back to one. Uh, is there lava in here? Ooh, no, a tainted crystal though. Can I use a wood pick on that? Yes, I can. Okay. As you can, as I just showed, Thomcraft crystals will give off light, but honestly, that is pretty much the most expensive lamp ever. If you really want to use it for that. Is there anything exposed down here? No. My sword is almost broken, and I only have one more. So, zombie hunting time. Oh, uh, gotta eat. So hopefully restore my health. And more zombies. Okay. I'm not Okay. The brain in a jar the brain in a jar, which is the reason you research these. Um okay, Thomcraft Cosentium. Which is what you use to research the more, the higher, the rest of the, pretty much the rest of the Thomcraft game. It receives a boost the same way enchantment, enchanting tables receive boosts from book, from bookcases. The brain in it, they also receive boosts from brain in jars, but the brain in jars also lowers the failure chance. So you really want it, want to get it as soon as possible. The best way to research it, are, and best boosting material in general, are actually vis valves. They are cheapest for the amount they boost. But you don't really want to boost much. Use, um, for lost knowledge, you just, you just use cobblestone or sticks. And sticks are... Sticks are better because they're fairly renewable at, lo at low cost, but not but not a lot of people like going out and cutting down trees. Cobblestone, it's some. So I mean, you only need to reach like three or five percent before a Cosentium will start will activate the boost as well. But. Really, lost knowledge isn't all that important to do anything specifically to boost it. Forbidden knowledge, 
you can get from you can use mob drops to get it but a lot better than that is netherrack from you know the nether it acts exactly as cobblestone but um, yeah, a lot easier to get for anything because of how easy it is to mine Uh, the other specific thing, because zombie brains will only come drop from, will only give the brain a jar. You can't research it from anything else. Cri the crystalline bell is what you use to gain vis crystals from the ores without breaking it. That you actually get only from researching vis crystals. I don't know if element the elemental crystals work or if it's only pure vis crystals, but those two are the ma ones you really want to boost with vis valves. Okay, after, let's see, Crystalline Bell, Zombie Brain, Recovered, Tainted Knowledge, and Lost Knowledge, Recovered. Um, Eldritch Knowledge is the absolute last thing you should ever bother to get, because the pieces required to get it, or required, the way you get it, is only through Eldritch Artifacts, I believe, along with you know, random chance of getting an an off item from anything from researching something, and it's just not something to work for. It's pretty much the end the end res goal of Thalmcraft, or at least it's the last thing you want to research before declaring yourself done with Thalmcraft. And to be fair, the stuff. From Eldric stuff, uh, from Eldric knowledge, um, it can be useful. I think the special Thumbcraft tools are part of it. I'm not sure, as I haven't played Thumbcraft extensively. I've just just done enough to know what to do. See any more zombie? Uh -huh. This way. I should get that last cow, actually. Come on! Don't make me waste my sword on grass. Okay, I have a fair amount of steak, some chicken, and some pork. Not to mention apples. I will need more food, though. I'm not fond of the whole of the whole hunger thing being at you know that was added. But at the same time, I like it because it makes a survival game, the survival aspect of this, a lot more obvious. Not touching farms are fairly fun to set up in different ways. Uh, do I have room? Okay, I got the black seed. Yeah. Whoa, hello. Taste my fist. Taste your own food. Okay, it's getting to be daytime. So I'll go... No! No starving. And I'm not playing on hard mode just because that makes the Mo Creatures guys near nearly impossible. But you know, low hunger means you're down to half half your health at max, and you can't run, so may as well get fed anyways. There we go. Yes, burn, burn. No, don't go in the water. Bad smart zombie. You're not supposed to be smart. Or wait, you have you do have specifically have your own brain, so I suppose you can be smart. You're not supposed to be.
Okay. Hey. Hey. A few more. Okay. Well, it's morning and this is going long. So, bye.